You're still watching the Niger Soccer Star Show. Me and Akira is my name, and it's a show where we bring to you the best 88 players at the youth level Nigeria can indeed afford. It's a reality TV show where those players will be housed for the next 30 days or thereabouts. We will monitor their development in the house, take a look at how disciplined they would be, and definitely we will also the mentoring them, hoping that they get to the zenith of their career. But a lot is expected to get to the apex of their career and everything will be brought to you on this show. On this segment, we will welcome the Georgies of the Nigeria reality TV show, this time the Niger Superstar Show. Interestingly, they've played at the highest level. The FIFA World Cup, is the dream of every player to indeed participate in. And most of them you will get to meet as judges represented the most populous black nation on earth, Nigeria. Welcome once again. And on the show, this time around, we will welcome Femi Okmabumi, Ifayu Deze, and indeed a former goalkeeper of the national team, Ike Shurumu. Well, gentlemen, it's nice to have you on the show. You know, the, the interesting thing is that um, it's been a while Nigerians, you know, saw you. So I'm sure they would be happy to indeed um, see you at this stage. But I mean, how are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, you still look fit. You all still look fit. So, <laughs> <laughs> did you still play football? <laughs> well, we do. Uh, but we play what we call Jeong Jeong. Interesting. Well, Ikeo, was the last time you, you know, caught the ball in between the sticks? Uh, I would say two weeks ago. Uh, I just uh, playing the uh, Sunday Sunday game with some of my friends in Ibadan yeah. and just to enjoy ourselves and uh, to keep it. Okay, you can't space in Ibadan. You're based where? In Ibadan. You find? I'm uh, based in Lagos. Interesting, find you based in Lagos. Yeah. Well, it's one moment where a lot of footballers hope to step into your shoes. Some are aspiring to be goalkeepers. Some want to be defenders and um, some also want to be strikers. They want to play in Europe. They want to play at the highest level. They want to play at the FIFA World Cup. I start with you, Ike. How did you feel representing Nigeria at the World Cup? It's, it's, it's a big thing. Uh, if I could take you back, uh, I've been in the national team since 1990. Hmm. Uh, and then I was one of the youngest goalkeeper then. Uh, reserving uh, late uh, Wilfred Agronibari, Peter Rufai, and uh, Aloy Agu. And in my first experience, I was supposed to be in the, in the World Cup, which would be 1994. Then we were in Holland, and uh, there's a lot of pressure on the West Ham that you need to drop the uh, case you from one of the experienced goalkeepers. And I said, no, in case I have a long, young, I mean, long years ahead of him, I wanted to understudy this uh, these experienced guys that uh, he wanted to be, to be with the team in World Cup 94. But uh, that's a lot of pressure in Holland. But then he has to succumb to the pressure mm -hmm. and drop me. And 1998, that uh, I have a good opportunity to be in the World Cup, I uh, put my hand. And uh, thank God, the last, my, my, my last uh, uh, hope was 2002, I wish I. Uh, I represent my country to be a good by the World Cup. And I'm so happy because for any, any player that didn't show his uh, worth in the World Cup, that's me, I want to achieve hmm. your, I mean, your, I mean, your aim. Interesting. Uh, I'll be coming back to you, Ike. Ike Shomo definitely um, is one of the judges on the Niger um, Soccer Star Show. Um, if I you, Daisy. Um, if I, it's nice to meet you once again, and um, this time, um, if I isn't playing football, he's talking football. If I, you marshal the left hand side of the defense, you know, for the Nigerian national team. What was it like, donning the green and white jersey of the most populous black nation on it? Oh, well, to be honest with you, I mean, it's, uh, it's a dream. It was a dream come true, sorry. It was, because um, um, during that period, um, I think um, then, uh, Nigeria had one of the best left backs ever. Uh, the person of uh, Celestine Babayaro, you know. So me coming on board then, I mean, it was uh, it was really a dream come true. 
uh, because a lot of pressure uh, from me that I have to play, you have to play, you have to play and uh, show that yes, you are a good player. You know, and when I came on board, I did play very well at my first uh, game. Uh, the national team that was against Zambia uh, qualifying game in 2001, about, about January 13, 2001, I will never forget. Hmm. You know, which uh, Celestine did not honor the invitation, uh, which I did, I came and uh, I featured and I played. And I played very well. Then the second game, I think uh, Celestine was told that I'll uh, come. If you don't come back, I'll well, like you. <laughs> and um, he came, yes, he came back. And when he came, there was a lot of confusion in the in the Super Eagles team. A lot of confusion, you know. Uh, some the team was divided into two. Some wanted me to start. Someone some, some wanted to select to start. So it was really, really it was a big problem then. But at the end of the day, I started the game. Wow. But, um, about I played about sixty-five minutes. Then Celestine came in and finished uh, the game. But the most important thing, uh, just like uh, uh, Ikesho said, was going to the World Cup at uh, Japan Korea 2002. Uh, then it was like I've, I've, I've achieved everything in football. When you talk about football, I've achieved everything. Talk about it, think about it, achieve everything already. So for me, uh, it was a dream come true. Playing for Nigeria, wearing that green white ring, uh, believe you me, uh, was a great thing. Well, I'm sure you know fans in England wouldn't forget you know those moments at the Alton's on ground of West Bromish Albion and also um, he spent time in Greece um, with um, Pauk, you know, and um, that's one memorable moment. We'll come back to that. It's also one of the judges. Our uh, judges are well experienced, as you can see. Um, if I could go on and on talking. Well, Femi Okpabumi, it's nice to have you. Um, Femi will also be one of our judges and I'm at a very young age, Femi. You played at the World Cup, but let, before we did um, go into the famous record, till date, only one footballer has scored a hat trick at the FIFA World Cup at the age of 17, and that remains Pele, Edson Arantes, Donacimento. Femi, you came into the national team at a very young age. What was it like for you? Share that experience with us. Well, you know, to play in the national team is a dream come true for every player because Super Eagles is a very big brand in Nigeria. So it's a very dream come true to play for Super Eagles of Nigeria. When I was born upon to play, to come to the camp, I thought that maybe I would just be in the camp so that to get more experience. experience. But when God says it's your time, nobody can stop it, amen. I remember when we were in Dublin, Ireland, we want to play a Friday match against Dublin. If I know this year was there, Celeste Babaya was there. So the pool, the shot will start the game, I will play at the left football. Then I Okocha told me that did I ever play that wing? I said no. Then Okocha played from left side, I played the right left football. If I know Desi and Celestine, mm -hmm. they are not on the list, mm -hmm. you know, because of slight injury. Mm -hmm. So I start the match and I play the 90 minutes, you know. But when I was called upon in London, that uh, we are in London in camp, that they are, when they call the 23-man list, that we will represent Nigeria in the senior World Cup, me, I've told to myself that, <coughs> I'll go back home, I'll just come, I'll just come, with, I'll just come, make up the numbers. Yeah, make up the number and get more experience. But to my surprise, when they call the list, and the number three player, number 23 player, Femi Okpagumi, Tears fall upon my, wow. upon my eyes. I had wow. tears of joy, you know. We have different type of tears, but tears of joy. So it's a dream come true because that's the highest level in football, senior World Cup. That's the highest event ever. It's a dream come true, mm -hmm. and um, it's also a dream, you know, to be in the house with legends, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> like these players who made it to the FIFA World Cup. A population of over 180 million yeah, representing your fatherland speaks volume. It shows commitment, it shows hard work, it shows discipline, and indeed it shows that these men have talent. You may admire them today, you may indeed say so much about them. History books are there to indeed um, go to, but one thing we must indeed note is that Rome wasn't built in a day. It takes a lot of hard work. It's interesting, but then there are so much untold story behind. But our judges on Niger Soccer Star Show will shape these young footballers, share their experiences with them, 
and then let them understand that you need to keep going. For Femi, he never thought he would play at the World Cup, but then he was working hard and like they say, you can never tell where the biscuit will crack. He had his opportunity, he shed tears of joy and it's memorable for him sharing that moment. Well, um, we've got over 80 players, about 88 of them in the Niger Circle Star show. We are all in the house here and every one of them is hoping to meet Ifanyu Deze, Femi Opabunu, Ike Shurumu. And they are hoping that you will mentor them, share these experiences with them and make them believe that they can indeed get to that zenith of their career. Before I would want to ask what you would want to share with this player, for the three of you here, did it ever occur to you that you play for the Super Eagles or probably you play at the World Cup? <laughs> if you were told when you started playing football on the streets, if I, would you say yes? For where? For I would never believe it, bro. That's the truth, you know. I, 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 but the truth is, um, you know, in whatever you do in life, you know, if, um, uh, for example, you pick football and you want to be a football player, uh, you need to be really serious and be focused. That's the most important thing, you know. Uh, if I share my story with you, my brother, believe you me, you shed tears. Because uh, when I was growing up as a youngster, I used to hang out sorry, with uh, a, a lot of uh, bad boys. A lot of bad boys, I'll tell you the truth. A lot, lot of bad boys. Then I think uh, uh, one day, I stopped playing football, let me tell you the truth. When I was very young, I was a good, very good player, but um, then I preferred to do guy, to do fight ball, that's ball, fight big ball, ball, fight ball, you know? Each big ball. Exactly, exactly. Then one day, I think, um, um, one day, some of my friends uh, went for a very dirty deal. They got caught at a very young age, and um, they were all, Murdered. Wow. Yeah, the way, all of them. Then a friend of mine, uh, who's also a football player, uh, called me and said, Look, these your friends. They are all dead. I said, What? He said, Yeah, what did they do? Oh, they went to do this and that and this, and they got caught, and that was it. And I sat down, I was crying, and he came to me, he brought me a boot, a football boot. Yeah, a good player. Stop. Be serious, start playing your football, focus on your football. And he gave me that pair of boots, one pair of boots. That was how, that very, from that very, very, very day, I focused on my football. And the next thing, I started playing football in the Navy Barracks. The next thing, Fanny Amu came. Fanny Amu was the other 17 coach in 1996. Okay. Yes, because then we were supposed to, uh, we were the first uh, ever, first set to go to Meridian Cup and won the Meridian Cup there. That was in 1997. Yeah. Yes, so we in camp 1996. They finally assembled that team. That was how I got into camp 1996. And made it 1996 to the camp. And after then, I traveled abroad, you know. So I have a lot to share with them. A lot, a lot, a lot of stories to share with them, a lot. That um, touching and um, football, has been able to position the find your daisy and then that took him round the world. Well, uh, Ikea Nobi Shorumo, um, you coached at the national team level after your playing career, but if you were told, you know, during those good old days, growing up, that you were probably being goal for the Super Eagles, and um, don't be surprised, I also read about the fact that you were close to a couple of people. Um, one of them was Abiodo Bagua, you know, um, you had a very good relationship with him growing up and um, you also met in the national team as goalkeepers. But when you look back, would you say Ike was going to play at the 2002 World Cup as a young star, as a young chap growing up? Initially, you no, know, as, as a young child, I could remember BBB in 1980 when Nigeria won the cup in Lagos here. Yeah. And uh, they are shouting, Besuki Dinbe, go to keeper. I said, ah, one day I wanted to shout my name like this. It's like best, you know. I need to work hard. But thank God I have opportunity of meeting Besuki in Nabi That was years back, 1987. I was playing with the Housing Corporation. 
and he knew was uh, the team manager of uh, Abira Bills then. Mm -hmm. So we now met. Uh, we met in the FA Cup final, state final. And after the match, he now called me and said, okay, You have a future. Mm -hmm. I said, Late. Best. I said, he said, Yes, you have a future. And I asked him, What did you see in me? He said, The way I, I was calm on the post, and the way I'm trying to organize myself. I said, Sir, let me tell you one thing. I said, 1980. When I knew in the post, with national team, I was one of my admirer. But today, it's like we are sharing the same seat together and talking to me. It's like you are a figure that I will never forget in my life. And, uh, but today, seeing myself as a <laughs> national team goalkeeper, there's a lot I want to share with the, with the guys here, but as time goes on, you see how we do it. Uh, before I come to Fermi, can you just share with us um, your relationship with Keshi? <laughs> what was it like? Keshi is um, respected not just in Nigeria, but in Africa. Um, Lamti of Ghana, who was touted to be the next Pele of Ghana, said so much that he had to cross the border by road um, to come see Keshi and um, Keshi took him to Belgium, the rest is history, but tell us about the man, Keshi Valentez. The Keshi, late Keshi. Yeah, I don't know how to put it, it's like, we uh, started as, as a friend, as a senior back to me in the national team, but end up as a big fan. And, uh, you know, no matter anything you, uh, when you come across Keshi, if something is so, I mean, if you are bothered with a lot of bits in your mind, the kind of face you give to you is like the problem has been solved. So, I mean, I don't know how to describe him. He's a genius. No, no one that they call him the big. Yeah, because anything, anything that comes his way, he has him, I mean, laughs his butt. I mean, I would say 85% of him is positive. Okay. You would agree with me that Nigerian football needs more cash use in terms of leadership quality yeah. and also investing in younger players and in players on the continent of Africa, no doubt. Mm -hmm. you know, the thing is that life is, life is changing. Cash has his own way of life. And again, to so every generation has their own way. This generation now, that's what, um, as they call us as the judges now, to come for this uh, program. That's what we would like to impart on this young child. Interesting. Well, Femi, quickly, let's um, indeed um, take a look at um, the role of the judges as far as this program is concerned, Niger Soccer Stars. What advice do you want to give these young players, 88 of them? touted to be one of the best in Nigeria today. My advice for the Nigeria soccer stars talent, my advice to them is that they should be disciplined. Discipline is the key to success. So when they are disciplined, the sky will be their limit of their success. So you know, a lot of players nowadays, they are not disciplined. In the grassroots, it's not how it used to look like. So I believe, I believe that when they are disciplined, they will go places for the face I'm looking here, they will go places. Interesting. I'm going to play for clubs like um, Grasshopper in um, Zurich, Switzerland. Um, the Kano Bishorimo played for clubs in Turkey. Um, Samsung Sport, one of them, if I'm not making a mistake, and then definitely playing at the highest level. This will be our judges. A lot is expected from them, and um, as the show progresses, you would get to know much more about the likes of Femi Opabumi, Ike Shurumu, and Ifai Udeze. This will be our judges on Niger Soccer Star Show for the next 30 days or thereabouts, where a champion will emerge from the camp. Stay with us on the show. We'll be going for another break. When we come back, the show continues. Let me come to you, Ike, as um, we look forward you know, to the next couple of days. What do you make of 
displayers who have been camped and mixing personalities like you. Hey, well, in, into count themselves as a lucky guy. Because in, when, when you look back on our own stages of life, at the end now, we don't have, we have, we don't have the kind of a team. And for them to be staying in the camp like this, be showing on TV, and they're well fed, and they're meeting guys, me and uh, my, my colleagues in the national team, yeah, they are so lucky. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the kind of experience we share with them today will gain a lot on it. Interest to that spot, so that they'll be fine. But do you for this opportunity, you will make sure of the fact that football has been able to change, you know, your life, and then they will be looking forward to this. Um, during your days playing at Ajegunle, I'm sure we had, um, you, you probably look forward to players like um, Peter IJ, um, Indubisi Wawo, and Ko, you know, from Tolu, the Maracana, and all. But what do you make of opportunities given to these players in the Niger Soccer Star House? Uh, for me, basically, first of all, I must give it to, to uh, Niger Soccer Stars. Uh, for coming up with a reality show just like this. Uh, for me, we didn't have this opportunity when we were growing up. No, we did it. You know, we did it. You know, uh, so for me, uh, back then, we, 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 we wake up as early as 6 a.m., you go train on your own, and after training, you look for what to eat. You know, but here we are, Niger Soccer Stars have come up with a reality TV show like this. You know, camp this younger group of players, uh, in, uh, and just like he said, uh, well fed, you know, just show your talents. Show your talent to the world, and uh, if you're good enough, then the rest will be history. For me, this is a very, very big opportunity. A very big opportunity for them. Like I always say, when you have this kind of opportunity, well, all you need to do is what? Grab, grab your coffee. Don't grab, grab, your grab your coffee, my coffee. Coffee. <laughs> All right. Femi, from these players in the house, what will you be looking out for? I want to look out for that they should be like me. Or they should pass me, you understand? They should pass. So they should pass me, you understand? So my prayer for them that I they will go forward in life. But they need discipline, as I said earlier. Because I want to see one of them in the national team. So I will be happy. One thing is certain on Niger Soccer Star Show, a reality TV show, we have arguably some of the experienced players the country ever had as judges. Many thanks and then we hope that at the end of this show, these players would have learned so much from you. We wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. My people, I want to tell you now about this oil. The name now Kenzo oil. The oil is a very, very good oil, very good for Yamoto. In fact, Kenzo oil is a special oil because of saying a fully synthetic oil. It's good for Yamoto, it's good for your engine, it's good for every other engine where you want to use. This Kenzo oil, if you use it for your moto, I see your moto go to go seriously wherever. Use them for your moto to last long. Hey, Ayo, you don't just finish, Abi. Bring my sister, Yamoto, come here, beg. of the Niger Soccer Stars and interestingly we have over 88 players in the camp. I will be meeting the judges for the first time and the players will also have an opportunity of meeting the judges but then there are rules and regulations. For these 88 players to meet the judges they will also go by my whistle. With my whistle I will assemble the players here they will have an opportunity of meeting the judges on Niger Substance. Welcome once again.
I'm sure everyone is outside now. Yes, sir. Very good. Like we said, your attitude matters to us. And this is day two. It's a day you will get to meet the judges. The judges who will determine the most outstanding players, the best players, and will also look at the champions as far as the middle edition of Niger soccer stars are concerned. Ikeshonu, Femi Okpabonu, and Ifani Udeze. From the trials, a lot of you were selected, and part of what Niger Soccer Stars will do from here, after you get an opportunity of meeting the judges, is to get your kids. Your dress code will change in sports, and that's one of the priorities we will watch out for. Like they say, attitude determines your altitude. So, shortly, you will get to meet the legends. They played at the World Cup. They've seen it all. They played in Europe. They are well experienced. And I hope at the end of the day, you all will have learned something that will aid you in the development of your career. Once again, I'm wishing you the best as you meet the judges on my job, Summerstars. <laughs> Um, 
What do you have for night just at the stars players? Well guys, I just wish you all the best and be relaxed. And you have all the best. Man, Mr. Sam, you find Jason a word of advice. Um, yes, um, yes, I just want you all to relax, uh, relax, uh, play your games. Uh, I want you to know, see, this is a very, very big opportunity, a very big one. Uh, I think uh, when I was, I was playing, just uh, about your age, I didn't have the kind of opportunity. So we thank God, like I said before, thank God, that's what I for this uh, beautiful uh, reality TV uh, show. You know, so I just wish you all the best, relax, give out your best. And listen, most importantly, grab your cup. <laughs> Judges, you will get to meet them as the program progresses. Judges, I must say a very big thank you. The players have met you and then you will work with them with your experience. We will hope that um, these players will be well guided on Niger Soccer Star Show. I must say a very big thank you for coming along. Thank you. Can you find It's time to get serious. It's time to grab this opportunity. Make it count for yourselves. These judges are here for serious business. They played at the highest level, they've seen it all, and they will also be here to guide you. Now, you have to go to your rooms and also get set for dinner. Thank you very much. Good luck. I'm from Imo State and I'm 17 years old. I'm very, very excited after meeting the judges. They told they can be a big plus and a good impact on us with and outside the field. My name is Akin Jobi Toluani Samuel. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Ogun State, but I live in Lagos. I'm very excited to meet them because one of my goals in life is to play for my country, to wear the Nigerian badge, to hold it, score a goal and kiss it, and to meet people who have played for the country multiple times. It's a great opportunity. I don't have any fear impressing the judges because I know with the qualities I have, I'm very, I'll be able to impress them. My qualities, I tend to meet up with the expectation of the judges because I'm a good footballer, I'm a playmaker, and I'm the best on the field, as I am. I believe that. My expectations coming to Nigeria Soccer Star TV reality show, I've been expecting to see is quality players, of which I've seen some quality players, but we are here to play some matches. So, and um, different positions, different um, coach techniques and tactics. My expectations are number one, the cash prize, and apart from that, there are a lot of benefits. I can get scouted to European teams and yeah, and other good teams around the world. My expectation coming to Nigeria Soccer Star Red TV show are the scouting, the agents, the stardom, the exposure, the 30 days on the pitch. It's a very good opportunity for me to become the next or best Van der Sar, the goalkeeper. My people, I want to tell you now about this oil. The name is Kenzo oil. The oil is a very, very good oil, well good for your moto. In fact, 
Kenzo oil and a special oil because of saying a fully synthetic oil. It's good for your motor, it's good for your engine, it's good for every other engine where you want to use. This kind of oil, if you use it for your moto, I see your moto going to go seriously really wherever. Really, really. Use them for your moto to last long. Hey, uh, Ayo, you don't just finish up. Bring my sister, I'm going to come here back. Kenzo oil, Ababa. You are all welcome, very much welcome. It's still the Ninja Soccer Stars Football Reality TV show. I told you on the show, during the intro, when we're welcoming you to this house, everybody I mean, the players, the coaches, and even the judges. We talked about these footballers who love their habitat, which is the field. They love the grass, they love the smell, they love the ambience. But we told you that it might not all be about the field. And I'm sure you have seen snippet of what it could be off the field. And I'm seeing them really getting in tune with so many other habitats that could be very enjoyable. But if you call it a soccer show, then the entire world is waiting to see what the soccer is like. Trust me, I've seen snippet from their trainings, from some of their moves, and I'm telling you, these guys can play football. In front of me are jerseys. You know, if there is to be a football match, definitely there should be jerseys, and these are it. It is time now to call on the gaffers. I'm talking of the coaches that would set up these boys to play good football. I will invite them now they select their jerseys, they go back to their team and relate with them. And in no time, football matches will resume. So, stay tuned. Welcome back. Right in front of me are the coaches who are ready to pick up their jerseys. Coming in my head right now, you can pardon me for that. It is starting off with Lagos FC. Ogo FC. Adamawa FC Rivers FC Kogi FC Enugu FC Kano FC And last but not the least, Aquaibom FC. Now 
Now that the coaches have gotten the dresses, what is left is to head out straight to the field and have a first feel of the football match right here at the Niger Soccer Stars reality TV show. As we all know, it's business proper. It is fire for fire right now. It's still the Ninja Soccer Stars football reality TV show. Let's get it started. My name is Coach Henry Mozuji. I'm the coach of Aqua Iboma FC. Okay, now that the team has gotten their jersey and my players have gotten their jersey, I need to tell them what it entails to be in the house. What people at home and inside the house are expecting from them in terms of discipline, qualities, and their technical input they can put into the game for it to be a good show at the end of the day. My name is Sejiru De Trimisi Yunus. I am the coach of Kogi FC. We are excited to receive the jersey, which is well presented. Uh, we are ready for it. My name is Daniel Ono. I am the coach for Ogun FC. The teams are excited to finally see the colors that they are playing for, which is a good thing. It helps them with their momentum. Um, I expect um, free-flowing football from them, possession football, to dominate our opponents. Also football that will thrill and excite the fans that are watching at home. So that's what I expect from my players. Um, my name is um, Oshila Jolu Asho, and I'm the coach for Lagos FC, Lagos for sure. Um, actually, we're um, excited. The players are excited um, to see their jersey today. And also, expect a free-flowing football. Football that will thrill the fans outside there. Football that will make you, you know, feel good. Expect it from Lagos FC. Moment, yeah, yeah. Mm. We're going to go to the international.
Zaj, zaj, došli. Zaj, maj ti se radi. Ti ga tako ti. Ti ni ti jam malo kot ti zelo.
Chilo, no le he dado chino aquí. A ver, aquí por lo no.
Que legal que eu olhei na Bíblia. Que de play pass. Que de play pass. Que de play de cap.
Tell you, my mother, we are going to a giant. Back to that and to reach your turn, I don't go to anything. Now you be coached to tell her what to do. Tell her how to receive my friend back. Now you be coached. I will play against you now, the nation. Sorry. I said you don't go. Did they tell her what to do? Who gave me back? Who gave me back? I sent all the food to my bag. I'm going to go to the food. 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 I'm going to go to the food.